if you've been plagued with the quota limit error inside of your Looker Studio reports when trying to connect to GA4, then this video is for you. What we're gonna do is walk through a really beautiful, gorgeous Google Analytics 4 template that you can use that won't ever hit the API quota limit issue. And so we've solved that using a few different tools. We're gonna use Looker Studio, we're going to use Google Sheets, and we're going to use a tool that we love, recommend, probably one of the best things you can buy for analytics, which is a tool called, uh, uh, it's called Mixed Analytics, or something like names. Uh, it's called Mixed Analytics. So we're gonna work, we're gonna work through that workflow of how you can restore your GA4 reports using mixed analytics, Google Sheets, and have a beautiful Looker Studio report up and running for you, your clients, everyone, really fast. So that is what this page here is dedicated to. So if you head on over to betterthandata.com forward slash mixed, you can see everything that there is to this to get both the data source templates we, we literally built everything for you. So my name is Stockton. I'm one of the folks over here at Better Than Data where we teach um, agencies, freelancers, consultants, how to make data become their superpower, how to leverage it for their clients. And we have tons of coaching and training around that. And this is one template that we wanna provide for free for everyone to use using mixed analytics to restore and have their Looker Studio reports actually work using GA4. So let's dive into how this works, what it looks like, and what we can do about it. So this is that page, and what I wanna show you is if we just click this View Looker Studio Demo button here, you can actually preview exactly what you're going to get when you um, check out this report. So we have uh, different pages on the left here. So we have the executive summary. Of course, this is totally customizable. You can change your logo out, you can change the colors, you can do whatever you want with it. You're gonna make a copy and it's yours. We've got the scorecards that are the super scorecards where they have the uh, not only the metric but the trend over time. So you can see that in case something drops off. We have landing pages. Now remember, landing pages is really cool to have here because it's not actually a dimension in the native GA4 connector. So if you want to use landing pages, you have to pull your data from the API um, yourself. And we did that with a Google Sheet. So landing page is a nice one to have there. Then we've got sessions and revenue broken down by source medium. And then you can see your trends over time. So this is one that can work for everyone and it works out of the box and it's beautiful and clients love it. We have the landing page review. So if you want to dive into a specific landing page, you can see the details around that uh, for how many you know sessions were there for each landing page, what was the steps for e-commerce in this case, how, what were the item views, how many ads to cart, how many transactions, what was the conversion rate. So here we can see you know landing page directly onto this uh, page here had 19 item views, four transactions, you can see a conversion rate and revenue from each one of these. So uh, really cool to have that breakdown, uh, even with these controls up here, where you can then filter, slice and dice, search for specific pages, check out broken down by device, by country, and over time, all of those things. And then here, the last one kind of that's general is similar to the aligning page, but this one's broken down by source medium. So if you wanna check out just how uh, your organic traffic is doing, you can do that. Everything is fast, it's filterable, it's cross-filterable, and it looks really good. So clients love this. So with that, how did we get to this point? What can you do? So the data source for this report is a Google Sheet. So this is what that Google Sheet looks like where we have just a table of all of the different data. And the extension that we're using is Mixed Analytics and it's called API Connector here. So if you don't have this, you go to Git Add-ons and you gotta search for API Connector. And it's this top one right here, API Connector by Mixed Analytics, 1.7 million downloads. So people are loving it and rightfully so. So we got, you gotta grab that and then when you open API Connector, open this like that. Once it opens up on the line, you can see the different requests that we have. Now, if you go and um, go to the landing page here, when you opt in for this, 
uh, we will send you the JSON files, the file you can import for this. So you don't have to come up with these requests yourself. If you go to extensions, API connector, import, you can just import the request so it's done for you right there. So we provide the template for the Google Sheet, which is this right here, the request that will put the data into the Google Sheet, and we provide the template for the Looker Studio report, which is this, so that everything can just plug right in. All you have to do is tell it what your account is so it knows which account to grab the data from. That's all you have to do, and it's all done right here. If we look at the kind of the inner workings of this API connector for GA4, then we can look at the dimensions and metrics. So using the API connector, you can have up to eight dimensions, and we've used all eight in this case. So we've maxed out the dimensions that we can use. We've got country, date, device category, host name, landing page, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All eight of our dimensions there. And then for metrics, you can have up to nine, nine metrics, I believe. Nine or 10 metrics, nine metrics. And we've got eight metrics here. So we've got add to cart, checkouts, item view events, purchase to view rate, screen pages, sessions, total revenue, and transaction one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got eight dimensions, eight metrics, and that populates right here. One of the reasons we say it works better on the paid plan of mixed analytics, which is really inexpensive, um, and you can start with a 14 day free trial that they have, if is for the scheduling capabilities. So you can actually set that request to run on a certain schedule. So you can have it run every day and it will get the last, whatever your date range set is. And so it's always up to date. So when clients wanna go and view it, they can view it up to, you know, however fast um, the API processes the data up to yesterday and um, have it be really dynamic and always kind of up to date. So super useful feature and it's in Google Sheets. So one downside to this is it's using the API, the GA4 API to get the data and store it inside of a Google Sheet. So Google Sheets have limitations. This method won't work if your site is doing a lot of traffic. So bigger, bigger sites, bigger clients, this won't um, really work on because Google Sheets will eventually just run out of space. Um, if you're doing a larger date range, so maybe you're trying to pull a year's worth of data and it's just gonna return back and say, hey, that's too much data that the ape, for the API to pull, that's when you could run into some issues. So this method is, while super easy, we've got the templates for everything, it also has that kind of drawback. So one way to get around that drawback, there are two ways, is to one, use um, a different connector. So instead of having the data source for this report be connected to the Google Sheet, you could have this uh, report connected to, for example, the GA4 native connector, but then you run into all of those issues that we're trying to avoid with the native connector. In addition to that, the native connector doesn't have landing page as a dimension. You could use a different paid connector. So you could use something like two minute reports or power my analytics as the GA4 data source. Now these data sources will try and cache the data for you. So while you won't necessarily always have the, the limit, it runs a lot slower. So you could have the report, it's just going to be really slow. And it's pretty fast when it's connected to a Google Sheet, but if you use one of these paid connectors, like technically it should work, but it might be quite slow. And I don't know about you, but our clients hate waiting for minutes, literally minutes for like a page to load. So that's one downside. And then the other solution is to use another tool called Analytics Canvas. So Analytics Canvas is a tool and what it would do is allow you to take Google Analytics data, connect to the API, but once the data is pulled in, so like I'm doing here, if we come in, grab all of our like date, we're gonna do it right now. Then we grab session stuff. So we grab our session campaign, we grab our medium, we grab our session source. Then we wanted to grab our device. So we're grabbing all of our dimensions. So we got country, so we're at six. So there's two more I'm missing. What are they? Host name and landing page. Host name, 
and landing page. In case we grab those eight dimensions, then we can come over and grab the uh, metrics. So there's eight metrics as well. So I know we have ads to cart, checkouts, items view, items, item, item views. There we go. Um, total revenue and transactions. So we're at six. I know we have sessions. Um, I know we had some rate. So purchase to view rate. There's our eight. So we have our eight dimensions. We have our eight metrics. Let's extend the date range here. Going a little fast because GA4 source data is our table. Not necessarily an analytics canvas, but what you can do in this case is have analytics canvas connect to the API. So now analytics canvas is doing what mixed analytics does, what any of the other pay tools, it's connecting to the GA4 API and it's gonna bring it in to the analytics canvas. From here, what it's going to do is store that data for us in a table. So it grabbed the data and it's gonna store it for us so that every time we're connecting to analytics canvas, it's not refetching from the GA4 API exactly like it is with mixed analytics. So this is analytics canvas. This one is mixed analytics. Sometimes I confuse those. Um, so very similar concept. And then here we have to define a Looker Studio output table. So just like this. So what's the difference between these two methods between mixed analytics and analytics canvas in particular? The biggest difference is that it doesn't use a Google Sheet that has a limitation. So if you find that the Google Sheet method is not working because you're trying to fetch too much data or you have too much data, then the next step to make it work would be to use something like Analytics Canvas. Now there's cost difference. I think mixed analytics costs like 20 bucks a month, whereas mixed analytics, this one, 20 bucks a month, Analytics Canvas, this one, 50 bucks a month. So that's the price difference there to solve that problem, right? So if you're running into limitation, you say, okay, I got to pay just a little bit more to resolve this. Boom, bam, off to the races. There you go. So now we can connect this. Uh, we could connect this report to Analytics Canvas and have the exact same report just with the switched data set. So there it is. A uh, few nuances in the weeds there, but overall the end result is you want to have a GA4 report that works and is not running into quota limitations. Those are the two kind of main recommended solutions. I would start with mixed analytics and just rock this and impress your clients and have everyone be happy with that. If it's a bigger client, then you'll have to use something like anal analytics canvas to um, get around those cell limits of the Google Sheet. So there it is. Hope you enjoy and let us know if you have any questions.